This new law is meaningful reform, and it's a concrete example of the fact that change can, in fact, be brought about in Illinois. Democracy only works well when citizens lean on it every day. So when we enact a reform like today, it isn't the end, it's the beginning of citizens making sure that their government works right for the public interest, for the common good, for the everyday person. This is uh, pretty old. Uh, I got it uh, in 1976. Um, I was involved in a petition drive that gathered 635,158 signatures of everyday people, autographs of citizens uh, who wanted reform in Illinois. We had a group called the Coalition for Political Honesty, and this was from 1976, uh, 33 years ago, and I knew back then, uh, 33 years ago, that there was, in the hearts of the people of Illinois, a zeal for reforming our government from top to bottom, to make sure that citizens and people come first. When we sign this bill today, I think it's important to remember all those citizens who have come before us, they may have passed on, but they are committed to the same cause we are today in making sure that our government is honest and clean and open, uh, that there is competition and fairness. Uh, those are fundamental principles of American democracy. For the first time in Illinois history, there'll be limits on money coming into candidates at the front end of each campaign. And this includes limits to political leaders, to political parties. It includes in-kind contributions, ads, mailings, phone banks, signs. This is all counted and will be limited, including contributions to political parties and leaders. This bill is a tremendous step for reform, openness, transparency, and limiting big money in campaigns in this state. And there's a lot of passion out there for reform, and this goes a long way towards addressing that. Uh, I think reforming politics and ethics uh, is something that is, has to be an ongoing effort. This is a big step. This is not the last step. I think we have to take it further. That's what this bill moves us toward in the direction, in that direction in the state of Illinois, that democracy is what works rather than the voice of big money. So I'm very pleased to be here uh, and celebrate this today. This is a dramatic step forward for, for Illinois. The, the first ever caps on campaign contributions sends a message that state government is not for sale. I think in the long run we'll find that even more important are the dramatic changes in the disclosure and transparency requirements and the consequences for folks who are scofflaws and don't pay attention to our campaign finance laws. We believe in openness in government, in democracy. So I think uh, the people of Illinois uh, want us to continue uh, carrying on the mission that never stops of making sure we have an honest government.